हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल नो बायोलॉजी नो लाइफ एंड आई एम योर एजुकेटर शंपा शाह लास्ट डे वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द फोर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेसेस ऑफ लाइफ इज वेयर न्यूट्रिशन रेस्पिरेशन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड एक्सक्रेशन टुडे वी विल ओनली डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन एंड मेनली वन पार्ट ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन इलेबोरेटली so at first discussing about anything we have to know about what is nutrition guys to do anything we need energy and the main source of energy is the sun but we cannot take directly the solar energy to use for any activities he so the organisms have to take food in source of their energy all the living organisms have to take uh, material that supplies energy into their body that is called food and the next question is how do living things get their food there are two different ways organisms can get their food some of them use the inorganic materials that are present in in our earth with the help of this inorganic materials they can synthesize their own food they are called autotrophs or some are unable to synthesize their own food so they have to depend on the autotrophs for their food as well as energy so the autotrophs use the simple components or simple substances for synthesizing their own food heterotrophs utilize complex substances so they have to depend on the autotrophs today we are going to discuss about uh, autotrophic nutrition elaborately what is autotrophic nutrition the process by which organisms can produce their own food from the simple substances present in the earth is called autotrophic nutrition carbon and energy requirements of the autotrophic organisms are fulfilled by the process photosynthesis so the autotrophic nutrition occurs with the help of photosynthesis because this is the only one process to acquire or to store the solar energy into organic one and so it is the process by which autotrophs take the substance from the outside and convert them into stored form of energy carbon dioxide and water which convert it into carbohydrates in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll carbohydrates are utilized for providing energy to the plant the carbohydrates which are not used immediately are stored in the form of starch which serves as the internal energy reserve to be used as and when required by the plant and somewhat similar situation is seen in us where some of the energy derived from the food we eat is stored in our body in the form of glycogen so here is the equation of photosynthesis that is 6co2 plus 12h2o in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight it produces Uh, glucose that means C6H12O6 plus 6O2 that means six molecule of oxygen and six, six molecule of water. So the main process of photosynthesis are three. One is absorption of light energy by chlorophyll, conversion of light energy to chemical energy, and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. And third one is reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. so we have to know about what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is the colored pigment that is present in the chloroplast chloroplast is a kind of organelle that is present in the all living cell of a plant it also founds in the bacteria and so the other chlorophyll is called bacterio chlorophyll the chlorophyll during the day absorbs the light and become activated and through this activated chlorophyll all the process of uh, producing glucose occurs 
let us see how each of the components of the above reaction are necessary for photosynthesis if you carefully observe a cross section of a leaf you can see that there are lot of green dots that is present in the cell of a plant what are they they are the chloroplast and they are green because there yeah. is the presence of chlorophyll and now we have to know about stomata why because stomata is the main opening through which carbon dioxide enters into the plant cell or enters into the plant body from the environment so what is stomata stomata is the opening pore that is guarded by or that is uh, surrounded by two guard cells the exchange of gases that is carbon dioxide and oxygen occurs across the surface of stems roots and leaves as well since large amounts of water can also be lost through the stomata in the process of transpiration so the plant closes the pores when it does not need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis the opening and closing of the pore is a function of guard cells the guard cells swell when water flows into them causing the stomatal pore to open similarly the pore closes if the guard cells shrink now we will know about what are the raw materials for building the body of a plant the raw materials are carbon dioxide and the water carbon dioxide is absorbed from the environment through the stomata or pores and water is uh, absorbed uh, that is uh, transported uh, from root to the leaves to take part in the process of photosynthesis and other materials like nitrogen phosphorus iron and magnesium are taken up from the soil as in the form of mineral salts nitrogen is an essential element used in the synthesis process and other compounds also this is taken up from the inorganic nitrates or nitrites that is present in our soil or it is taken up as organic compounds which have been prepared by bacteria of atmospheric nitrogen next day we will discuss about heterotrophic nutrition and human nutrition process as well uh, today uh, we learned about the autotrophic nutrition if you have any question you can ask me in my comment box and if you like the video please click the learn and uh, subscribe it to get your own video following your syllabus and class and share it because sharing is caring so guys keep learning happy learning have a good day